Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another cast in Rise of the Reds, Hump Patch 31.3. We are on the back, we are on the map Snowy Drought. Of course, it's a customized version by our distant relatives over on the other patch. Of course, uh, we still have our games here, we still have our replays and our cast. We are still kicking, we are still breathing, we are still here. And on the bottom end, we have Lime STG as our Russia, up against Luna as our Purple USA. And if anybody knows Luna's USA, it's about three things. Anger, Vipers, and Drones. So let's see which one we get to see today. We can see a good double uh, supply placement. This one, I mean... Eh, like the fact that this has to turn a tad bit is gonna like, like add like 0 0.2 to like 0 0.3, say like... See that? See how it's like angled? Yeah, that's gonna like change it by a tiny bit. And you're gonna say, Bruce, does that matter? Well, like 10% of, uh, you know, if you had 10% supply lines, you'd be happy. This thing changes like maybe 1% or 2%, and this is like a small factor in that. But this, this is kind of like, you know, you lose like, well, I don't know, 4%, 5% out of this like distance and the angle. Either way, USA is mu the most flexible faction. When it comes to oh, we do see a Tunguskan some come out is the most uh, flexible faction for supply placement because the gathers are flying and they do have a good acceleration rate, so they can make up the distance in situations like this. We're gonna see no infantry come out just yet, but there's the first Humvee out. No tow missile, there's only a target here, so he definitely does see that. He has massive vision with the target here. The drone does get killed by that Tunguska. We're gonna see a drone hive here. Congratulations, this drone hive is complete garbage. It's going to defend absolutely nothing. It's going to only defend this area. So you can just go from the top and go from here. But instead, he's going to try and fight a Crusader, which is unadvisable. Okay, and he loses power because he doesn't get the power upgrade. Ah. Luna, maybe one day you'll learn how to play USA. Well, it does kill a Tunguska, so that's better than most. I still do have times when I don't see a Tunguska or it goes through my blind spot and I do still get, like, um, an Osprey killed or I have to dismiss it. So, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world, but uh, driving a Humvee into a Kashan would be the worst thing in the world if he had vision on it. He doesn't have vision on it just yet and is disabled. Whoop, I open, accidentally opened that. Now, um, this is going to be like one of the uh, five or six replays I do get to post. I was thinking to make a special day to post uh, casts, but um, I got a phone call and I might be, you know, I might be going back to... Um, well, work. Yeah, I might go be, be going back to work, so I will be doing less cast and just submitting games, and that's and this is gonna tear that uh, Humvee apart. Uh, is it damaging itself with the machine gun? No, it's not. I thought it was for a second. Okay, that BMP is gonna kill that uh, Humvee, uh, the, the, the dozer, uh, the dozer, and that uh, that Osprey is not long for this world. But no, the Tunguska goes for the Humvee instead. The Mishka gets uh, peppered off. We do get to see a quick tier 1 coming in, and we do see a Guardian... Wait, no, the Guardian tank. Okay, Crusader tank. He's going for Spear Protocol. For extra range on his drone units, eh, not something I would advise, but okay. Avenger here is painting the Tunguska, but if he just stops and guns it down, this Avenger's dead. Anti are already in the field. Osprey going down. Tesla tank here, he definitely has the ability. Like, it's basically a dragon tank. Yeah, Teslas are just super dragon tanks. Yeah. Okay, well, the oil is captured on both sides, so that's good. There's no um, potential. There's only this place and this place that has... Oh, he did get the refinery. Oh, is he going drone build with refinery? Drone build with refinery will be very good, though. All right, let's double check. Um, is uh, is he going up to tier 2 just yet? No, he's on low power. He's barely getting his oil just now. STG definitely does like his um, Teslas, and he likes his Goliath. So we're going to probably get to see even Goliath... Um, Goliath... Uh, Hellions and at least, uh, and maybe even Goliath Heli Hinds though. Yeah, Goliath Hellions and Hinds. We do see drone collectors here. I mean, eh, maybe. This is the reason I like shield protocol because these things are unarmed. So hammer protocol and spear protocol doesn't do much to these, but you know, shield gives them extra health, and you know, what's better than health? Probably range. Range is a better thing than health, but you know, health is a close second. Health is a close second. I have a phone call right now. One second, ladies and gentlemen. Let's stop this. Alright. Let me go on and continue this replay. Uh, let me just quickly text that person. Sorry about that. Let's continue that right now. We do get to see a, I do I do get to see a nice amount of guardian things here. 
Um, no drone armor. We do have drone armor, yes, and we do have a few Avengers. The Guardians and the, and the Crusaders kind of do clash in their role, though, in this iteration. If you guys have been watching Hunter's stream, you'll know that the Guardian drones are actually now dedicated anti-tank units, and they're very scary at their job. Just like these, the sentry drones are at killing these uh, units. Oof, those infantry are getting smushed. Wait, is the snowman on their side? I'm seeing two things. Oh, the snowman is his own object? Really? Ha! Wait, was the snowman his own thing in Vanilla Gems? Was, was that thing in Rise of the Red? I think it was his own thing in Vanilla Gems, right? Okay, one second. I gotta mute this. I'm getting some noise. Okay. Uh, okay, we do see a weak army here by STG, but he is going to tier 2, I'm guessing. Yeah, there. Uh, tier 2 is coming up. Tess, I mean, shock troopers against this army. Hmm. I mean, you prefer shock troopers when you have, like... Is that still my phone ringing in the back? Can you guys hear that? Alright, that guy got shocked. Um, you prefer shock troopers when your RPGs are against a target that resists the damage of RPGs. So, dragon tanks, uh, microwaves. You get shock troopers for those mostly, right? Or you get on things like, and hold the line on. Oh my god, this phone! God damn it, I told you guys I can't talk right now. I'm not Bruce, 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 give me attention, Bruce. Well. As they say, time never stops for the CIA guy. Alright. You can see more guardians. No wasp hives though, which is like the whole point of a uh, drone path. And god, he went for all three tech buildings. Oh, Luna, what are you doing? This is not how you play Drone USA. Luna, what are you doing? I'm screaming to the past for you, Luna. Please learn how to build an airfield and not go for uh, all of the upgrades. Like you went for, yeah, you went for supply lines, didn't you? Yeah, this is a tier one. Drones are a tier one peak fact, you know, a path. Like you, after tier one, they're gonna be very pointless. Like, okay, that's a dead Avenger, but like, you're getting PDLs there. I wonder for what for bombardiers. I guess that works. Yeah, but these Teslas are probably gonna ruin these drones as. Um, Drone armor does give armor to drones, but at the same time, um, what's its name? Teslas ignore armor, so unless they have extra health added with the upgrade, then they're gonna probably ignore it, so they're gonna be terrible against them. Okay, we do see two Hellions on the right side, ignoring the fight, but there are double, uh, oh wait, they're actually doing some long range fire support there, it's pretty cool, yeah. These Avengers, they do get targeted down, though. they're gonna ruin those, they're gonna get ruined. Okay, we do get to see one of them go down. Okay, the second one is oh gonna die. Yes, the whole army of SCG there goes down. The wasp fight is a good amount of damage. Like this is some good uh, combat towards by the sentries too. But eh, I could ask for more from the guardians because they're like 850 a pop, man. You know how expensive that is. It's kind of funny. How let's stop for a second. That uh, STG has double grumbles because he's expecting some air force. And this guy's like, buddy, I am three dimensions ahead of you. You you are playing, you know, you're playing 40 chess. I'm playing checkers. I have no idea why you're building grumbles. And neither does he. Like, he, he thinks he's outsmarting him by getting those early grumbles. But turns out there's nothing to be outsmarted. He, he, are, he doesn't even have an airfield. Like, the worst you could do is probably hit the Ospreys. <laughs> okay, Hunchback is here in the field. There's gonna be some shock troopers. I just see Boris. Where did Boris? Boris is on the left side. And SCG calls quits on this game. You are victorious. Huh. I don't know, guys. This game... It felt way too one-sided. Okay, I'm gonna post this game, but uh, please don't send me games like this, okay? It was just one battle in the middle, and that was it. Yeah. Give me a more, like, you know, juicy, something I can sink my teeth into, something more, like, you know, satisfying. No super weapons, no ranks, it wasn't ranked, nobody was even ranked 3 yet, like, come on, man. And it wasn't like a back or forth either. Anyways, this will be the end of this cast. I will be going and meeting you guys on the final uh, cast I do for maybe this week, actually, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see.